Okay guys, in today's video right here, I have a Droid Razor or a Droid Razor Max, whichever one you guys want to call it. And I'm going to show you guys a neat little trick on how to get those old Christmas Leak uh, Jelly Bean ROMs onto your device with a utility called Combat Compatibility Flasher. This is made by Matt Groff. Um, not very well known that uh, he made this tool. But I'm going to show you guys how to use it. So first, let's go over some couple things. Let's go ahead and go into the phone here. And um, let's just see what we're actually running. So we're going to go to About Phone. And right here is your information here. So this is the, let's see, where is it at here? XT912, which is the Verizon Droid Razor slash Droid Razor Max. This is Android uh, Jelly Bean version 4.1.2, and this is the stock stock operating system right here. This does have to have root permission, have to have safe strap installed, so on and so on. Um, if you don't know how to do that, watch the videos on that. I have them in my YouTube channel or at rootjunkie.com right up here. So this is what I want you guys to notice right here is this version right here, this system version. It's 98-72- or I'm sorry, 98.72.16, and then the rest of it. Well, if you were on the Christmas leaked version of Jelly Bean, you'd be 98.72.08, not dot one six. Okay, so one six is the official. Dot zero eight is the leak. So um, if you want to run around that is a leak, you need to be on that system. So what I'm going to show you guys how to do is to take this device and boot into um, AP Fast Boot. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to flash the boot image of the leak, which will allow you to run a leaked ROM. And we're going to use a utility to do that. So let's go ahead and so let me go over a couple one last couple things. You're going to need to have the compatibility flasher. Um, it's a zip file. You're going to extract it to your lap, desktop uh, to run it. This is obviously for Windows, and then you are also going to need to have your Motorola drivers, which if you've done anything on your phone, if you've gotten to the point where you're doing this, you probably already have them. Um, I'll probably link all this in the video description anyway. So, what we're going to do is we're going to boot this thing down, and we're going to go into uh, AP Fast Boot Mode. So to do that, power off. Hit OK. And then to get into AP Fast Boot Mode, what you're going to do is you have your volume up and down. You're going to hold them both and your power button. So let's see if I can do this. I'm going to hold both my volume up and down and my power button. And you're going to see a boot mode screen. You're going to scroll down twice. One, two, AP fast boot. And push uh, volume up to select it. And you're going to be in this mode. Now, um, this is for flashing stuff through AP fast boot. Um, make sure, very, very, very important, you have great battery life when doing this. So at this point, go ahead and plug in your USB cable to your device. And when you do that, if you've not installed the drivers for AP Fastboot, they will install. Mine are actually installing. Um, so let me show you guys that. So this is actually what installed right here, guys, when I was uh, in AP Fastboot mode and I plugged in my drivers. So it went ahead and said that everything installed, ready to use. So now let's let's check out the files you're going to need. So the file you're going to need is obviously the Motorola drivers right here. These are the drivers. Like I said, you should already have them. Um, and you're going to need ROM compatibility flasher by Matt Groff. And this is the zip file. You're going to extract it, and it's going to look like this. So then we're going to go ahead and click onto it. And then, well, this is your your file structure right here. Okay. So basically, this is all the software needed to actually do this. This right here is the script you're actually going to run. And this right here is the leaked boot image. And this is the stock Jelly Bean boot image. And what you're doing is you're flashing whichever one of these you want. So, like, for example, um, I want to flash the leaked image so that I can run Jelly Whiz ROM, uh, which I'm going to show you guys on the phone. Once I inject the leaked boot image, then that ROM will boot. Now, by doing this, your stock ROM in SafeStrap will not boot. You won't you won't be able to get your stock um, ROM slot to boot because you are running the leaked boot image. Now, your 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 ROM will work, but your stock ROM won't. 
until you go into AP Fast Boot and flash back to this. And then you can get back on stock and your stock will boot. So let's go ahead and look at the utility. Um, obviously, motor oil drivers are done. This is the utility. Just go ahead and double click on it. And press any key to continue. So here are your options. Um, I'm doing this through AP Fast, but you can do it through ADB. So what we want to do is install Jelly Bean Leaked ROM compatibility, which like I said right here, 98.72.8. That is the leaked ice, uh, Christmas version of Jelly Bean. And a lot of ROMs are based on it still and not over to the official. So we're going to install this so I can run Jelly Whiz. So we're going to hit um, option 3 and hit enter. And be in AP Fast Boot mode and have your drivers installed. We already are. Press any key to continue. We're going to hit spacebar. Actually, we're going to hit enter, I think. So sending boot image, writing boot image, rebooting. All right, so the device is rebooting. When it reboots, as soon as we hit um, the safe strap menu, we're going to go ahead and uh, boot into safe strap here. Okay, so there's safe strap, so let's boot into it. Okay, so here we're in safe strap. It rebooted the mm -hmm. device after flashing the leaked boot image. So let's mm -hmm. go ahead and unplug. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to show you, I already have Jelly Whiz installed because I was running it before mm -hmm. I updated to the official. So I'm going to go to boot options, and you can see right there's Jelly Whiz already. There's a ROM mm -hmm. slot. And we're going to go ahead and click on it and then hit activate. Now this ROM obviously should not run mm -hmm. without the correct... Um, boot image. It shouldn't boot. Mm -hmm. But we, since we just did it, it should. So we're going to go ahead and back out. Go to reboot. System. Mm -hmm. And this is going to reboot the system. We'll let it boot up. Now, I actually reinstalled this also, so it's mm -hmm. going to be a little bit to boot up. But as soon as it boots up, I'm going to show you what it says we're running for a version and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff and show you that it is functioning with this compatibility flasher. At this point, you can basically close down the program mm -hmm. and um, you're it. If you want to go back to your stock ROM slot, like I said, you're going to have to go into AP Fast Boot mode, use the utility to flash the stock official boot image, mm -hmm. um, and then you're good to go. So let's let this boot up, and uh, I'll show it to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, gotta, I just got to show you this really quick. Got to love the boot images. All right, well, there you go. Here's the ROM all booted up, and uh, pretty, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. It does also come with a uh, pie launcher here on the side. So that's pretty sweet. Um, like I said, this is the Jelly Whiz uh, RLS7 ROM, which is the Christmas version of the Jelly Bean Leak that has to be running on your phone to use it, or you can use compatibility ROM, uh, launchers. So let's go into settings though really quick and just show you guys. So we're gonna go to About Phone, and you're actually gonna see here now, see system version? System version underneath there is now the dot .8, not the dot .16. So that is the key right there. So we're now running that system version um, because we changed the boot image. So you have all your ROM controls and all your cool stuff with this ROM. Um, and now you can run it. Like I said, this does make your device look like the S3 or the Note 2, whatever you want to call it, for a Samsung look and, look and feel on the device. Um, pretty cool, pretty awesome. So it comes with Pi Launcher, a lot of great, great little goody goodies on there. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a link to this ROM in my video description, as always. Um, all those good things you're going to need in there. That's pretty much it, guys. That is how to use Compatibility Launcher. So, last but not least, if you want to get back into your stock ROM slot, it will not boot. Like I've told you just a couple times, just making sure you understand this. It will not boot up in stock ROM slot through Safe Strap until you flash the boot image through the Compatibility Flasher. So if I turn this off, we go into safe strap, we're not going anywhere with, um, we can get into safe strap fine, but you're just not going to be able to boot in your stock ROM. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and restore this, just like I made this thing boot up. We're going to just power off, go into AP fast boot really quick, we're in our programming mode, plug in our USB cable, shabam, everything's working. Click on Compatibility Flasher, go ahead and run it. Here's our uh, program right here by Matt Groff. And we're going to, right here in AP Fast Boot, we're going to go Option 4 and go to the official ROM. Option 4. 
and we are an AP fast boot. Go ahead and enter. Sending, writing, rebooting. Mm -hmm. All right. So at this point, we can go ahead and close the program. And we're going to go ahead and unplug the cable. It's done doing what it's doing. And go into safe strap. And we're going to boot back to stock ROM slot. So that's what you're going to have to do if you want to run ROMs that are Christmas link and have stock and I'll go back and forth. You're just going to have to use this tool between uh, whatever you want to switch. So we're in stock. We'll reboot. Reboot system. And everything should boot up fine. So there you go guys, that is using the compatibility tool, how it works, how it functions. Um, hopefully I gave you a ton of great information on using this thing. You can close the program in the back there. Uh, hope you like it, hope you enjoyed this little video. Big thanks to Matt Groff for putting it out there, a very cool little tool, just makes it really easy for us. And uh, that's it, so hey, please check me out right up here at rootjunkie.com. I'm adding things to their daily, constantly new stuff on there. Um, also, I'm about a month away probably from hitting a million views on YouTube, which I'm really excited about. When we do that, we're going to go ahead and do a giveaway for an Android device. So I'm pretty pumped about that. Hope you guys are too. As always, follow me right over here at um, Facebook or Twitter. You can see both those links over there. And uh, that's it, guys. So uh, thanks for watching this. Let's just watch this boot up really fast here and just wrap this up. And there you go. You're back to stock what you were running before. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you next time.